blowpipes here have to be preheated in a flame. The flame's not on, but typically there's a flame in there that will heat the ends of these pipes. Because if you take a cold pipe and you stick it in a crucible full of uh, hot glass, it won't stick. And there's a crucible in here. We have it 24 hours a day. You can shut it off. I use the, the waste heat of the furnace to run my annealing oven. Whenever you make a piece of blown glass, it goes in the annealing oven overnight. Uh, they would have a rod and they would mix uh, cow dung and clay. These are called marvers now, but originally it was a piece of marble. And they would just blend those colors. You're just going to roll the hot glass back and forth and the chips of color. This is what I melt in the furnace. These are nuggets of glass that are made specifically for glass blowers. It's made out in uh, Washington State. It's a high quality soda lime glass, very safe and easy way to melt glass. The temperature of the glass right now is 2,009 degrees. So are called diamond shears because of the diamond shape. You're going to grab the glass in that area. That's a holding tool and a cutting tool. Very valuable. Twist the color. The tweezers you use to pinch and twist. You're just pinching and twisting the glass. You cool it and shape it into the block. You know, and as the pieces get bigger, there's larger blocks. You know, we have some that are even much larger than that. Two thousand years ago, they were exactly the same. Even beyond that, these are called jacks. You hold them in your hand like that. That's used to put scores and lines in the glass, necklines. It's used to stretch out a bottleneck. You can shape and form your, your glass with it. Jacks, put the blades in there and in the groove, and then you start to squeeze to taper it down. So the air is cutting the glass right now? The air is Molding. cooling. Wherever the glass is the thinnest and the coolest, that's where it's going to break off. So valuable tools right here. It's a wet newspaper and a, inside of this pad, and you can form and shape and cool the glass with it. Hi, my name is Eric Lathers, creator of Trading Artisans. Click on one of the videos on the left if you'd like to learn more about this artisan and their craft. Subscribe to our channel below to make sure that you never miss another episode of Trading Artisans.